Hey everybody, it's Mimi with Copper's Cat Commune here with an updated tour of the commune. So let's get started. Over here is the main living area, which we have several cages, six of them to be exact. Nobody here lives in a cage. Um, you'll notice that they are all empty, though they all have bedding. Uh, that is because our paraplegic cats, who are out during the day, like Jason here, all of our paraplegic cats spend the night in cages so that they can get a break from the fully mobile cats and then we can make sure that everybody gets their medication on time in the mornings and so on so that is why we have the cages say hi lilith lilith is our little girl that has no back legs so she is a challenge cat but is up for adoption to anybody that's interested somebody just let me know moving across this is what is the dining area but obviously is another cat room um, since our last tour, we have added these wonderful feline snoozers. The cats really enjoy them. They are fantastic, made of PVC and um, uh, like a webbing type material. It's all completely washable. So just want to point those out, felinesnoozers.com. And of course, we still have our regular cat trees and the wonderful view out into the main enclosure. Swapping back to the hall, you can see that we have cat shelves and cat runs everywhere. That is kind of part of this, is to make sure that everybody has um, the ability to go up and get vertical territory. It's one of the ways that we can keep as many cats as we have happy. Uh, the more territory they have, the better they are. Now we go into this room. This room is the quiet room. This is where we have quite a few of our quieter cats. The ones that do not well do not do well out in the general population. Uh, we do have a cage here for when we need to have a cat adapted to the area. Right now, it is open. The cat that currently enjoys living there does not want us to have it cleaned out. That's her bed. So you can see some of the babies. You can also see the cat flap as Pete comes in. Uh, da hi Pete. So the cat flap goes out into an enclosure that is strictly attached to this room. We can scan across, say, hi, wacko. Now we're moving outside into the main enclosure. You can say hi to 3D, taking a nap there. Our main enclosure is attached to the house and everybody that has access to the main area of the house has access to this enclosure. Giant oak tree that they can climb and a gazebo that they can hang out in. You can see everybody's coming up to see us. Yes, hi Minerva, hi Lightning, Lumiere, Caduceus, Flash. Flash is actually semi-feral. We don't have a way to really get a hold of him, but he absolutely needs to have his mats shaved off his back. And Pickle's taking a nap. Just moving around the outdoor enclosure. I have acquired a friend. Caduceus jumped up here as soon as he saw me, so he's probably going to ride around as long as we're in the enclosure. Hey, kids. How you doing, Joxer? Hi, pretty boy. Oh, you're such a pretty boy. Just keep moving around. You can see all the cat trees in the gazebo. Lots of places for them to hang out. Hi, Maggie. And Trixie. And here we have a gate that goes out into the main part. I've got to put Caduceus down. I am now out in the walkway in between the enclosures. Um, that enclosure over there that has that shed is no longer in use. We moved all of those cats and the two cats that were in this enclosure into the house when the heat was 105 degrees this summer. They have adapted very well to their new environment and so we are going to keep them there. As we move along, you can see the greenhouse. The greenhouse is a cat space that is attached to this large enclosure. This large enclosure is our main feral colony. There are 20 cats out here. They all came from a bad situation where they were basically made to leave or they were going to be poisoned. So we worked with the colony manager at the time and trapped them all and moved them all here. Moving along, along the pathways, see back to the main enclosure there. 
And here we have two more enclosures. Pardon all the dead stuff. That's from our freeze this past winter. And we have not had a chance to clear it all out yet. This enclosure holds 12 feral cats that were in a very bad situation. I think you can see one sitting up there on that shelf. Um, they were living in a community where a neighbor started shooting the cats. So the colony managers found us and we moved their cats here. You can see a couple of them hanging out on the shelves and one down there, you know, in the bottom. Spinning around, this enclosure is the one that is attached to the quiet room and all of the cats in the quiet room have access to it. There you go, you can see a kitty up there. And that's pretty well the tour of the commune. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. One last glance at the kitties over here. And that's it. If you enjoyed this tour and you like what we do, you can donate to us at our website, copperscatcommune.org. There's a donate button at the top of the screen and one on the side of the screen that usually has our current fundraiser on it. But the donate button at the top is always available. We also sell t-shirts and buttons and stickers in our shop if you're interested. Thank you so much. Everybody have a fantastic day.